Here's a secret that's going to change the way you approach landscape photography forever. Now I know you're thinking great landscapes require really expensive gear and years of experience, right? The secret to stunning nature shots is actually about taking things away, not adding more. The key to better landscape photography is subtraction, not addition. And the best part of this is it won't cost you a cent. When I first started out, I thought great photos meant cramming as much as possible into the frame, but I was wrong. And by that, that, I mean, everyone said you needed a hero subject, you needed a foreground, middle ground and background and you also needed a wow factor like sunset or a sunrise and that the golden hours were the only times to shoot and many, many other components and all of these elements together would make an epic shot. And after a few decades of shooting, I know that the real magic happens when you actually start removing elements. Now let's break it down a bit. First of all, I've said many times before, it's not about the gear that you have. Gear doesn't matter as much as you think. And look, I get it. It's really tempting to think that the latest fancy camera and amazing lens will automatically make your photos better. But here's the truth. It's not about the gear. It's about the photographer. It's about you and your vision. So start with what you have. If it's a basic DSLR or mirrorless, stick with the kit lens for now and set your camera to aperture priority mode choose an aperture around f8 or f9 f11 for a really good depth of field it's a good setup that will give you sharp images from front to back and focus about a third of the way into the scene and then we have the power of limitation so when you have too many options it's really easy to get overwhelmed and that's where the power of limitation comes in so choose one focal length and stick with it for a day or even a week and if you're using a zoom lens just tape it so you can't move it and really think about your composition and you'll start seeing landscape in really different new ways. Uh, another area where I think taking away comes into effect is cropping. Cropping isn't cheating, it's a really powerful tool for improving a composition before or after shooting. So try cropping before you take the shot and by that I mean take a shot and look at it on the back of your camera and check all the edges. Is everything in the frame actually needed? Things like this. So this original photo you can see I've actually got half of a half of a tree, it's not even the whole top of the tree so that's annoying me. Also that big white line in the background is actually fog it's not cloud and then you've got some hills in the background but you can't really tell that what that is. So I decided to get rid of it and I zoomed right in to the middle bit where those dead trees are and this was the resulting shot which I think is a little bit more interesting. And when you're actually editing, Lightroom is what I use, remove any distracting elements from the edges of your frame. And maybe sometimes try some different crops like a panorama. Maybe it'll look better that way. If you've got a really, really boring sky, take some of it out, see what it looks like. And in this shot I've got up now, it's actually a sunset near the Murray. The water was just dark blue, the sky was dark blue, so I thought it would make a much better photo if it was a panorama. Here's an Another example, this one's got some horses in it silhouetted on the top of the hill and I've done the same thing with that because the black silhouette of the hill at the bottom was just so much it overpowered the, the actual sunset. Start with just the basics. I like to use local adjustments but that's a topic for another video. Just touch up your white balance to match the mood that you're in. Add a bit of vibrance. Often you only need a few tweaks and when you think you've done it and you, it might be at a certain level, dial it down a bit because you've, you've always done more than you think. Remember the goal here is to simplify and by focusing on removing distractions rather than adding complications you'll create much stronger more impactful landscape photos and it does take a lot of practice I know but I promise you the more you put in the more you'll get out of it and the more you'll see improvement much much quicker.